tree ring dating is based on the idea that two trees growing during the same years will accrue the same amount of thickness in the bark per year so that the tree rings will be the same so that uh, in the year 1789 uh, the thickness on this tree ring will be the same as the year on this tree ring as long as they both grew in that same year 1789. Now that sounds pretty good but let me tell you there are some, some serious problems with that and some things that I don't think can actually be accounted for. Now the original tree ring dating system which was uh, put together in Germany which dates to about 3,500 years and that's all they had uh, just about a decade and a half ago, less than 15 years ago when I went to college, that's what they taught, that there was 3,500 years worth of tree ring dating. And now today they say they have 10,500. And they've extended that time period covered by tree ring dating by doing this. They say, well, if we have one tree over here and another tree over here, as long as they're of the same variety, for example, a cypress tree and another cypress tree, or two Douglas firs, then we can put them together, overlap them, and if the rings pretty much match, then we can say that uh, we can extend the, the dating ring. Now here's my problem with that. My problem is that as an engineer I can tell you that if I find um, a 2x4 from 1950 and I get a 2x4 at the lumber yard down the street, that the 1950 2x4 is going to withstand about 2,000 pounds per square inch in compression, but the new one might be 1,200, 1,350, maybe 1,500. Now why is it, now why is a modern tree weaker? Well because in the 40s and 50s and the 30s, they were clear cutting uh, natural old growth trees. Now those trees, when they grew up, one tree like this little one here would be blocked. Its sun would be blocked. So it would grow slower and it would have a thicker, denser trunk and the wood cut from those trees is very strong. But now this tree over here, growing alone, it gets plenty of sun. It's, it, in, my, in my drawing here, this tree was planted at the same time as this one but it's grown bigger. Its tree rings are bigger. But the truth is they're from the exact same year. But using that system we would say, oh no, these must be from different years. Uh, this tree must have come in a summer when there was less uh, sunshine for whatever reason. But this tree here came in when there was good long summers, hot summers with good rain, I guess. And now there he is. He grew up bigger. But that's actually wrong. The truth is this tree grew taller because it had better environment. It just simply wasn't overcrowded by these other trees. That's it. And that is something that happens everywhere. And no one is going to be able to look back to 1500 or uh, the year 10, 6, 000, uh, I'm sorry, 4, 6, yeah, uh, 8,000 uh, BC and tell me uh, what the tree density looked like in a forest. You can't do that. So that theory uh, just completely fails. All right, now, here's another problem, is that a tree, when it gets over a certain age, ceases to grow perfectly round. Uh, it becomes warped and odd-shaped. And when that happens, if your center is over here somewhere, and you're going to start getting these egg-shaped trees. Now, look, if I measure across here, I'm going to get one distance, and then I measure across here, I'm going to get another distance. I measure across there, again, so, something different. So. This is another problem that has to be accounted for. Uh, I'm betting that most scientists wouldn't slop like that, but I, I want to know that that's not happening. I, I want to see the actual data. But this problem right here, I, in my opinion, in my professional opinion, you can't date beyond 3,500 years using tree rings. So that's number two uh, debunked. Why? Because trees, tree rings grow at different rates, dependent, very dependent upon uh, how much sunlight they get. And if you can't tell me which trees were growing around it at the time it fell and later became petrified, you can't tell me when, when that tree was grown. You might be able to tell me within a thousand or two thousand years, but you can't chain together a series of tree cross sections and tell me that you can't definitively unquestionably date the earth to beyond the 3,500 years that's well accepted.